In the vibrant era of the 1970s, American roads were decorated with an iconic sight of cab-over trucks, also called cab-over engine trucks. These unique trucks with their flat nose design were an integral part of the trucking landscape. Every major manufacturer, from Freightliner to Mack to GMC, produced these vehicles, resulting in them being found all over the country's highways. The story of cab over trucks began before World War II on the busy east coast of the United States. At that time, there were regulations limiting the maximum length of trucks, including both truck and trailer, to about 65 feet, 19.812 meters. To maximize cargo capacity within these limitations, manufacturers devised an ingenious design, the cab over engine trucks. This involved shortening the cab at the expense of driver comfort to save space for more cargo. COE trucks, also known as cab over engine trucks, are a specific type of truck design in which the driver's cab is placed directly above the engine rather than in front of it, as in most conventional trucks. This means the driver sits closer to the windshield and the steering wheel is directly above the engine. The cab over engine design quickly became popular because of its compact size and excellent maneuverability. These features made cab over engine trucks ideal for use in urban environments and on narrow roads. The ability to turn and maneuver easily made them particularly suited to situations where entering and exiting tight spaces, such as loading docks or city streets, was essential. Cab over engine trucks soon found their way into various sectors of the transportation industry and were widely used for various applications. However, with the change in regulations in 1982, limiting only the length of the trailer and not the entire truck combination, the cab over engine design gradually lost popularity in the United States. Conventional long-nosed trucks then became more common on U.S. roads. Europe and America once favored the same flat front cabs, but legislation regarding overall vehicle length became the deciding factor leading to their divergence. On European roads, trucks had to meet strict regulations regarding the maximum overall length of the truck and trailer, while the American truck industry focused more on longer nose designs, optimizing driver comfort and facilities. The switch to conventional trucks had both advantages and disadvantages. Cab trucks had their merits. They offered better visibility and maneuverability, making them ideal for the narrower roads of Europe. However, the American landscape did not require such maneuverability, so drivers considered other aspects of their journey more important. When drivers drove the vast American highways, the need for comfort during long-distance trips became increasingly apparent. Cab trucks had limited cab space, with drivers sitting close to the windshield and lacking adequate personal cargo space. This lack clashed with the grueling schedules of truck drivers, who traveled thousands of miles a year and were sometimes away from home for days at a time. Conventional trucks offered a solution to these comfort problems. Larger cab space allowed drivers to have spacious sleeping areas, making long-distance trips more bearable. In addition, the transition to long-nosed trucks moved the engine away from the cab, reducing noise and vibration. This allowed drivers to travel more smoothly and quietly, improving their overall experience on the road. Although the demise of cab over trucks was obvious, their legacy lived on in specific industries. Trucks with special purpose cab over conversions, such as fire trucks and dump trucks, remained operational on the road. Countries with strict length regulations continued to embrace the cab over design because of its maneuverability and optimal cargo space. As the transition to long nose trucks gained momentum, truck drivers had no choice but to acknowledge the inconvenience of single cab trucks. To access the sleeping area in a cab truck, drivers had to crawl through a small opening, a cumbersome and time consuming process. In contrast, long nose trucks allowed drivers to easily access the sleeping area, making rest periods more comfortable and efficient. Furthermore, the practicality of long nose trucks also extended to their maintenance. In trucks with the cab over, mechanics had to tilt up the entire cab to access the engine for repairs and maintenance. This process could take up to 30 minutes, with drivers having to tidy up their cabs to prevent objects from flying around during the tipping process. The long nose trucks, on the other hand, had easy access to the engine, allowing mechanics to fix any problems quickly, reducing downtime and increasing overall efficiency. Safety considerations also played an important role in the shift away from cab over trucks. In Europe, trucks are usually limited to a speed of 90 kilometers an hour, making for safer driving on narrower roads. American trucks, however, could travel much faster, with speeds of 130 kilometers per hour or more. This led to concerns among trucking companies about the safety of drivers in cab trucks. 
who face the prospect of high-speed collisions with minimal protection in front of them. The long nose design offered drivers an additional layer of safety. With a larger front end and more robust structure, long nose trucks offered better protection in high-speed accidents. This aspect reinforced the appeal of long nose trucks among both drivers and fleet managers. As the 1980s progressed, the decline of cab over trucks became increasingly apparent. Major carriers, once ardent supporters of cab over trucks, shifted to conventional models, causing the cab over truck market in North America to collapse. Manufacturers felt the changing conditions and gradually stopped producing cab trucks. This marked the end of an era for these once iconic vehicles and left a legacy etched in the history of American trucking. Although they no longer dominate American roads, cab over trucks remain a cherished part of truck history. Vintage truck enthusiasts and collectors keep the memory of these vehicles alive and restore them to their former glory. Cab trucks may have disappeared from the American landscape, but they are still doing well in other parts of the world. In countries with strict length regulations and narrower roads, cab trucks remain popular because of their maneuverability and optimal load capacity. Although cab over trucks have become an underdog in the American trucking industry, the future may hold surprising twists and turns for these iconic vehicles. With the world grappling with environmental issues and looking for more sustainable transportation solutions, the efficiency and smaller size of cab over trucks could spark renewed interest. Innovations in electric and alternative fuel technologies can revitalize cab trucks, making them a viable option for urban delivery and last mile logistics. With their compact design, cab trucks can more easily navigate busy streets, emitting less and delivering more efficiently. For many truck enthusiasts, Cab over trucks evoke nostalgia for a bygone era. Vintage truck shows and gatherings celebrate these iconic vehicles, allowing enthusiasts to share stories and memories of their time on the road. Restored cab over trucks attest to the craftsmanship and engineering that once defined the American trucking landscape. In recent years, there has been renewed interest in retro and vintage designs in several industries, including the auto industry and the fashion world. This trend may extend to the world of trucks, rekindling the fascination with cab trucks among enthusiasts, collectors, and even modern fleet managers. The decline of cab trucks serves as a poignant reminder of the ever-changing landscape in the transportation industry. It underscores the crucial lessons of adaptability and innovation to meet evolving demands and regulations. As the trucking sector moves forward, manufacturers and fleet managers must continually evaluate driver and market needs striving to develop vehicles that strike a harmonious balance between efficiency, safety, and driver comfort. As the trucking industry moves towards a greener and more sustainable future, the lessons learned from the rise and fall of cab overload trucks will undoubtedly shape the development of new truck solutions. As we set our sights on the future of the trucking industry, our thoughts wander to the iconic cab over trucks that once graced the American landscape. The enduring legacy of these vehicles serves as a timeless reminder of the ever-changing nature of transportation. Their captivating story will forever enchant truck enthusiasts and historians alike and leave an indelible mark on generations to come. The story of cab trucks in America is one of evolution, adaptation, and a changing landscape of regulations and priorities. Although they were once the workhorses of American roads, their demise was inevitable due to the allure of comfort, convenience, and safety offered by long-nose trucks. Nevertheless, the legacy of cab over trucks lives on in the hearts of truck enthusiasts and continues to serve niche markets around the world. While the trucking industry continues to evolve, the story of cab over trucks will forever have a place in truck history. It reminds us of an era of efficiency, practicality, and freedom on the open road. So let us remember the cab over trucks that once roamed the American landscape, recognize their impact, and celebrate their place in the history of the trucking industry. Their story will capture the imagination of truck enthusiasts, collectors, and historians for generations to come. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time, and we hope you will continue to share our fascination with the fascinating world of trucks. Keep on trucking!